And here we go. We're gonna do the pull out. All in one pull. Look at that perfect blonde. Hello, hair bestie. I am with Joey. She's been my client for like 10 years. The last time I saw Joey was over a year and a half ago, almost two years. And look how good her hair still looks. We did green last time with blue. So you can still see like some residuals. This is gorgeous. I mean, she just had it in a bun and she dropped her hair down. And so it's a little bit kind of disheveled, but it's so beautiful how it grew out. You can see all of her natural hair. She's a natural level two. So it's almost like a brown black. But the best part is look at the transition it's like an ombre it just kind of graduates as it grows out there's no harsh lines and so I'm just switching her over to more of a highlighted look and I'm gonna show you how to do the highlights today back to back when we do a technique that involves bright colors because Joey likes bright colors don't you Joey I do what colors would you like today oh he can do anything you know what I like about you Joey oh. that you're willing to do anything you never hold me back you ready to get started <laughs> all right let's have you sit down today we're gonna use big nine because we need to lift up to nine levels because her hair is at a level two so it's pretty dark so we want to get it up to a level nine so we're gonna do 100 grams of big night oh yeah I like the consistency to be slightly looser so I'm gonna do one to two which gives me the standard lift because I don't need to have such a power lift with her because we are using foils so I am using 40 now I know 40 seems like a lot and some of us are scared but I'm doing a back combing technique so it's far away from the scalp oftentimes when we're doing highlights that is on the scalp or it's really close to the scalp or it's compact foils I'm gonna do 20 or 10 volume but because because it's far away, I need that power because we are working in an air conditioned environment and she does have level two hair and her hair is very strong. So we're gonna do one to two, so that makes 200 grams. And this is gonna have enough for me to foil all the way up to the top back of her head because she does have a lot of hair. Okay, so that makes 300 grams of product all together. Now, Joey has long hair and it's very thick and there's a lot of it. So it might seem like a lot of product, but it's really not. Now, if you have clients with less hair, mix a little bit and then mix as you go. so the product stays fresh. Oftentimes we over mix and then by the time we get to the top, some a lot of times the lightener, it gets more weaker as it sits through an hour to two hour time and by the time you get up here, the lightener is weak. So always mix as you go. So now we're gonna whisk it on up. You want your big nine to be very nice and whipped up so there's no granules, spots. It's very, very important. That way you have a smooth whip consistency when you apply the product on the hair and it's gonna lift evenly. All right, so now you want to mix in your Olaplex, but you only need a little bit. That's it, that's all you need. All right, and then we're gonna pour her in, and then we're gonna use the collagen powder, just like that. So we're gonna use a quarter scoop. Don't fill it up because less is more, her hair is healthy. We're working with virgin hair here. So sometimes when you put too much in, you know, you don't want to affect the lift, but you wanna protect the hair, so less is more. All right, now we're ready to apply. Okay, so what you wanna do when you get started is section the hair in four quadrants. As you can see, I take some alligator clips, I section that out the way. So I'm gonna work up the occipital area and then I'm gonna to switch to the right. So we're gonna start with left, right, left, right. Because what I find is if you go up this whole quadrant, the hair up here tends to break a lot easier and it's a lot more weaker up here where the swirl of the hair is. So you want to make sure you apply the lightener on the left and the right nape area before you get up to occipital. I usually don't like to highlight these little baby hairs here in the nape because what happens is they like to tangle and get knotted and the hair there is a lot weaker, especially when you're working with someone with dark hair, she's Asian, and you work with anyone who has level one to five hair, and then what happens is the hair looks like breakage down here in the nape area because it's lightened. But if you keep it dark when they tie their hair up, when you have these little pieces hanging out, you don't see them. They look like they're part of the movement. So keeping that shadow is very important because oftentimes I see a lot of times we always try to highlight all the baby hairs around the face. That's something you don't want to do with someone who has naturally dark hair, especially Joey. So what we do is we skip that section, leave that out, and we're going to highlight right above it. So that way you get the highlight, but it's not the first thing you see when they tie their hair up because you want to avoid that breakage look. As I pull this hair out, you can see here, this is a long regrowth from all the way down the hair. So we're looking at eight, 10 inches almost, and then some of the ends are a little bit blonde. So we're going to take a thin slice here, and we're going to back comb this. And that's the thing, we don't want to over back 
back comb. I see a lot of comments where we feel like, you know, over back combing, I can't get the hair out. But notice that I hold on to the length, I hold the hair in a panel, one panel, and then one push. So let's talk about my thick body. This is a product that I created for us to use when you want texture in the hair, so you want more grip. You want to spray it if your hair is too slippery, so it gives the hair a little bit of texture. So when you push the hair back, it stays put, just like that. Okay, so now you're gonna get your foil, put it on your ferret foil board, spoon up the Big Nine Lightener, paint on the foil, and make sure you do W's or V shapes up here so it's jagged. And I'll paint it all the way down because our regrowth has grown out so far. So here is where I'll take this strand, and notice how fine this section is. The finer the section, the better. And now we're gonna anchor that on up. Now, if you want to get that back comb out the way, take a look. The comb goes right in. You could tuck that back comb back, and now I could get really close up to the scalp. So that way, none of those back comb pieces interfere. And now you could paint with ease, just like so. And paint straight down in a panel. And I'll go from left to right, just like this, so it fans the hair out. Now you could take that comb out of the way, and she still has more hair down here. So we're just gonna paint that right on up, move the hair like that, and then leave the tail out because the tail you don't want to overlap or it'll cause breakage. And notice I always keep my brush clean. See this here? There's no lightener up here on the base. You want to keep it only on the bristles so that way when you paint the lightener on the hair and the application is clean and you don't get all over the hair that's been back combed out. So after you paint it on just like so, notice I place the brush on the bowl sitting like that versus dunking the brush into the bowl and that's a big major cause of like mess and when it's messy then you get the product all over the hair. So we're gonna do an overlay just like so and then smooth it right on down. And we're gonna work our way up and so I like to do about half an inch spacing so that way it doesn't leave too much gap. So we're gonna do about this much which is about half an inch. It almost looks like back to back but you leave a little space in between so that way a lot of her natural hair comes through and it creates a natural shadow blend. So it grows out a lot more softer. So we're gonna take another one right here. Look how thin and look how much hair is left out. So you leave this hair out, you highlight that hair here. Take a look here, I'm elevating the hair out, not like this, not like that, pulling it out and I am holding the link. So you see all these little short hairs? A lot of times when we do the air touch technique, you're blowing all the short hair out. See that? You're just blowing these little guys out. So it's the same method. You're back combing the short hair away. You're pushing, just one push and all those short hair is pushed away. You don't need to push anymore. Now you have all the long hairs that you're gonna highlight. So I want you see here I am spooning the product up from the bowl so it's nice and clean. I paint right down the center of the foil and then I go back up do W or V's or little jagged lines that you wish. Go all the way down because the regrowth is super long so you can see here I could grab this anchor it right on in. Get your comb and tap tap and then you could tuck that right behind the foil just like that and notice how that stays right there because the board anchors it. All right so we're gonna spoon the product Again, look how clean the application is and paint. And look how close I could get up here on the scalp and feather and blend because I used that comb to push all the short hairs out the way. So it gives you the same look as the air touch, but pretty quickly because you don't have to pull out the blow dryer. Just like so, we're gonna paint down. Now her highlight starts pretty high up on this section here because we highlighted her hair last time. So each section will be slightly different than the next, but it's really important to kind of roll the hair here. Okay, you could take this opportunity to take that comb out and then you're gonna take that tail you could roll this one up and we're gonna paint I'm gonna leave a little space in between the next section here so about half an inch I'm gonna take a thin slice go straight across and as you can see this is a very thin panel here you can see through the hair and see my hands this is how much hair I'm gonna leave out in between each section so that way there's a natural hair coming through for dimension so you can see here that we have foiled Joey's hair in the back of her head here we skip half an inch throughout so there is a lot of foils but there is some hair left out so it looks natural so as her hair grows out there's a gradiency. When we get to the front we don't leave any hair out. Everything is back to back around the face frame. I do about four to five back to back around the face frame so there's that chunkier moneyer piece that we want which will make the colors pop more around the face. So I already have one foil here and we go parallel to that section because you want it to hug the face very very nice and tight. So you're gonna foil parallel to the depending on how their hairline is. Taking thin sections, going back to back. And I always 
do the front section last because the hair around here lightens faster than the hair in the back. So we do want to have a little texture here because the hair is a little bit more soft around the face. And you can see here, you do the same thing. Just do one push of a back comb and look how easy that is. And it pretty much repeats what you saw. Fold it on the back. And the hair around the face is more finer so it's easier to penetrate all the way through. Even at that, I still like to make sure I penetrate the bottom. So that's why I'll always paint on the foil like so. You can see here, I want to get closer to the routage. So I want to make sure that I take the comb and tuck. Look how clean this is right up there. Now, the reason why I do foil overlays versus folding the foil up is because when you fold the foils up, it gets too much heat conduction. There's too much heat conduction up around the face, around the head, and it gets way too light. I'm not trying to get the hair too light. Now, as me and Joey are sitting here talking, we're deciding what color to do her hair. But she does favor green a lot. Green is one of her favorite colors, right, Joey? Mm -hmm. Tell us, why do you like green? It's a movement color. <laughs> it's, it's an activist shade. Activist. Green is a color that's so beautiful. And with her skin complexion, you can see where green will work. So I'll see how I feel. I think we might stay with green because I think we all need to go green. Okay, let's take a peek. I always love doing this. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful, perfect lift. Leave it alone. Don't mess with it because that's what we always try to do. When we open it too much, what happens right when air gets in and it gets exposed it weakens the power so you just gotta leave it alone trust the process i only need to take one little peek and we saw enough so we decided to have a boba talk moment let's have a conversation mm -hmm. while we're drinking boba i got lychee boba with lychee jelly and so did you lychee yeah green tea i got strawberry green tea in mine oh <laughs> if you never have boba yeah, you need to but i am a little bit addicted to boba my question is okay we've been together for almost 10 years for a long time and you are from sacramento yes you've always flown out to see me since the beginning of time Yes. Do people think you're crazy for flying out think, only to get your hair done? I think sometimes when I originally tell people, and you know, I said, oh, I'm going to LA, and then they say, what for? And I said, oh, my hair, and they're like, what? And it's crazy, because who does that? But then once they find out it's you, it's like, everybody's like, oh, oh. they understand <laughs> why. We had this conversation earlier while we're doing our hair color. You know, I have friends for a long time, and they'll be like, oh, you've changed, you've changed, you've turned Hollywood. And I was like, what? And a lot of times it's not me that changed. I have grown up. I have matured, I've developed, I've learned how to say no a lot of times. What happens is, it's not me that change, it's them that change how they treat me. And because I've learned what I want, I learned what I deserve, and I learned what I don't need in my life. I learned how to remove toxic people from my life. And the hardest thing for so many of us is learning how to say no. That is hard. But the thing is, we're supposed to change. That's normal. When you grow, you change. Are you supposed to stay the same since you're in third grade? Who I was in third grade playing in the playground with my friend okay so now we're 25 or 30 years old i'm not going to be playing in the dirt in the sand with you anymore that's where people forget oh i miss when we used to do this i miss when we used to do that it's like yeah but that was 20 years ago and those times were great they're great memories but we need to grow together we need to evolve together and that's where sometimes people evolve apart and it's okay to grow apart because sometimes your path is meant for you and sometimes my path is meant for me and i feel that a lot of times people try to put the blame on you and say you've changed it's your fault that you know things don't work out it's like no we all change we all evolve we all grow and sometimes we either choose to grow together mm -hmm. or we end up growing apart and the only way to grow together is by having communication having a conversation and also be okay that it's okay to grow apart sometimes and I want you to leave comments below hair bestie have you ever been accused of changing and you're not yourself anymore what happened to the way things used to be leave your comments below share your story with me i like to know because it's nice to know that i'm not the only one that's going through this joey wants to know that she's not the only one that's going through this it's nice to know that we have this community where we can share our vulnerability openly and honestly and know that we do have a community of us that do celebrate change because change is important and that's how your relationship with your friends or your partner can grow together and be together otherwise you end up growing apart because there's lack of communication right mm -hmm. we're gonna enjoy a boba and we're gonna process her for about 45 minutes and then we'll be back back with her hair all ready for us to put color on. All right, it's been 45 minutes. We're gonna pull out now. Take off my gauntlet because we're getting in there. Here we go. We're gonna start right over here. 
Oh man, look at that lift. This is perfect because you get to really see the natural hairs in between. That lift is perfect with Big Nine. You get to have that perfect level nine and a half blonde, which is perfect because if we're gonna go in with green, we don't need her hair to be level 11 or 12. This is actually the most satisfying, gratifying part is seeing the results when you're pulling it out. Everything is all even. And here we go. We're gonna do the pull out. All in one pull. Look at that perfect blonde. Just like that. And now we're gonna do her two sides. Woo! Even. No breakage. Last one. Boom. Perfect lift, perfect blonde. All right, we're gonna rinse her out and we'll be back. So we're back and you can see how beautiful this full head of full highlight is. When she turned her head to the side here, you can see a lot of her natural kind of coming through. So she could be gone for a year or two years or three and it'll ombre itself down, it'll blend because it's gonna be more forgiving because her hair is naturally dark and just having some of that dark coming through will make it a lot easier, especially up here. Even if we don't shadow root her or blend anything down, it still looks so well blended. That bigger, chunkier money piece back-to-back -back foiling allows this area to be a little bit more vibrant around here so that way she has that face framer. And you can see how some of those natural pieces coming in from underneath her nape right in through here really brings it all together. So obviously we did not overlap her hair. So you can see a lot of her previous mint green that's faded down here is still there because there's no overlapping. But look how the, the highlights blend up all the way up to the top of her head. You can see how all of those highlights just merge through and blend seamlessly. So my option of choice is, you know, you can either do purple to blue, three shades of green. We could do blue into green. And because we feel that purple can be a little bit redundant because we've seen it many, many times, we're probably opting not to do purple this time and really stick with the greens because it's an activist shade. And also green, it's so beautiful, right? So we're gonna do three shades of green into her hair. Are you excited? about that Joey. I'm very excited about it. So my client Joey lifted to about a level nine and a half. So you can see the underlying pigment swatch chart here. The hair has to go through all of the red, oranges before it hits the yellow, before it goes to platinum blonde. She's not a level 10. She's kind of in between a nine and a half and 10. So she's pretty, pretty light there. So with that being said, we are gonna use green Aurora. So this is the swatch page insert in the Guy Tang My Dandy swatch book. So we are gonna use a green Aurora. We're gonna use lightning bolt on her ends to merge those colors together to create more of a linear, brighter green on the ends. And then we are gonna introduce the Night Warrior. So Night Warrior is our black direct dye. It's the most beautiful black direct dye you're ever gonna use because I've used them all. And a majority of the black direct dyes that exist always looks blue. But when you use Night Warrior, it's like the perfect shade of black. You're gonna be obsessed with it. So by mixing that Night Warrior in with that green Aurora, guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get forest green, okay? We are gonna use Olaplex and the Guy Tank Collagen Powder in it as well. So let's go ahead and squeeze out the green Aurora. So I'm just gonna use the whole damn tube. Now this is gonna be used as her Chateau Routage. This is gonna be the one that blurs her natural in with her highlights. So here we are using Night Warrior. So we're gonna use half of the Night Warrior tube here, just enough to create that shadow. So I'm just gonna leave that right there. Cause Joey does have a lot of hair. We are gonna use two full tubes of green Aurora for her mid shaft. Just like that. Okay. You know that's not enough for her hair. You saw how much hair she has. This is not enough. So I'm gonna have to open up a second tube. So what I love about the Superpower Direct Dyes is they do last longer than most direct dyes that are out there. They're very potent, they're very pigmented, hence the name Superpower. All right, so let's go ahead and inject Lightning Bolt. And Lightning Bolt is our yellow, so you could definitely see the swatch here, how vibrant this is. Okay, ooh, girl, look at that. You can feel the happiness as it's coming out. Look how beautiful that yellow is. We are gonna put some Olaplex in. And during this process, I actually like to use a lot of Olaplex, to be honest, because the hair has been pre-lightened. So this is the time that you really wanna put all the goodies back into the hair. So use a lot of it, don't be shy. Plus the one thing I like is because the pH of Olaplex is 3.5. So it keeps the product very nice and acidic. This is the time to seal the cuticle, add shine, repair the hair all at the same time. So this is also a great time and a great opportunity for you to use the Guy Tang My Hero Collagen Powder. You're gonna use 
least a full scoop of this, okay? Because you need to protect the hair. I also love like the consistency that Olaplex number one gives the product. That Superpower already has the fluid consistency to the product. But adding more Olaplex to it also helps the product just really spreads like butter. Let me whip this up. So here we have Olaplex, Green Aurora, and Lightning Bolt. This is going to be the most brightest, most vibrant green, as you can see, because it has the yellow in there. You can see how the color becomes a little bit more brighter, grassier green. Like it's been fed lots of water. It's like this plant is thirsty. Here is Green Aurora by itself. It's a very balanced screen it has a lot of depth and we had the collagen powder and olaplex in there so i know this is going to really protect the hair now this one has a night warrior the black night warrior is going to be your best friend you see that black right there and look how gorgeous the level is so between all three of this you can see the ombre happening the routage the mid shot the ends all right so we're going to use the first formula and this is the chateau routage and look how beautiful this is already i mean technically we don't really need to shower root it because it's already perfect but why not this just ensures that we get even more blend because sometimes being blended already is not blended enough so why not just add in this third formula because we can but look at that deep black green if you look carefully here obviously you can see a contrast between her natural level two hair which looks like a one on camera because it's so dark you can see that there is a distinct demarcation line because of the contrast now if her hair was a natural level seven for say you won't see the contrast because the highlights be so close together but because we're having night and day contrast it's still nice to go in to get that in between shadow routage formula in so you get to merge her natural into those stitch marks now let's talk about timing now this is the number one most talked about conversation with a lot of us as hairstylists oh how long did that take and I want to have a real conversation with y'all for the longest time I don't really like answering those type of questions because I'm from Oklahoma and the living cost is so different in LA after move out to LA the struggle is real so the living cost is so expensive the rent is higher everything to rent your salon space is higher your home and your living just your everyday situation is so much more expensive so the amount you're gonna charge your client has to be more to compensate for how much it costs to live in LA. Only you get to determine how much you charge your clients based off of your time, based off of how much product you use, based off of your technique, your skill level, your confidence in yourself. Only you know that. I can't tell you that. No one can tell me that. The honest truth about a lot of these hair color corrections and hair color applications, it can take anywhere from five to 12 hours, depending if you're taking pictures, if you're styling it, if you're cutting it, if you're bleaching it. That's why I say you can't base everything off of what I say, only you know what you want so we are applying this throughout the routage I like to process the superpower direct dye for about 20 minutes so as I move up the hair I like to take the rat tail part of the comb here and you can see here what I like to do is drag that first formula down the one that's sitting on the scalp the routage there drag it down just like so so you get to merge the formula together so I go in with the green Aurora notice I lay the hair flat and it's on the palm of my hand just like this you crane that flat platform to paint on. You have to use your hand and your palm as a platform to paint right on your palm and then use your index finger and your middle finger. Squeegee that product down. This is the key to having that perfect color melt. And you squeeze the product down so you get to spread the product while applying just a minimal amount. So you're getting to have full impact without packing on too much product and wasting it. You get to spread it all the way down. Now on the lower pieces on the nape area that's here, I like to drag the second formula down a little bit lower. You can see here I'm leaving the tips out. The tips is gonna be, you know, reserved for the third formula and I keep on doing this diagonal forward sectioning and because there's product sitting on the base you're able to section the hair without using clips and make sure the section is not too thick because if it's too thick you're unable to penetrate all the way through so you can see I'm just using that index finger that middle finger to swipe that base down which has the night warrior black so this is the final formula with lightning bolt now keep in mind the reason why I choose warm colors is because anything with yellow in it is always going to look brighter because yellow is the brightest color that is in the color wheel it's a primary color it reflects the most light it's the brightest so by adding yellow into the green which has yellow in it already you're introducing more brightness allowing this ombre green to have more of a natural appearance for so many of us green and rainbow fashion color has a stereotype that comes along with it a lot of people always think punky or crazy and I 
I want to disconnect the word crazy from fashion colors because people think that it's not wearable, it can't look natural. What I'm showing you guys here today is how to make fun fantasy colors look and mimic natural hair colors. Just like if this was to be blonde and brown or natural gradient balayage ombre look, it would have the same feel. But to give that same feel to green, it really shows people how beautiful green can truly be. And going back to what we're saying, it's always quality over quantity. I think a lot of times for us as humans, what we try to do is more is more, more means more. And we stress ourselves out. We overbook too many clients. We try to do too much. And sometimes less is really more because it's really about quality, quality life, quality friends, quality color, quality service. When your clients can see quality in your service, you become worth it for them. They will fly out for you. They will pay more for you. And at the end of it all, quality brings value. Look at that dimension. Look at the dark green. Look at the light green. It blurs together and it's processing so you can see how beautiful this looks. If you process this under a little bit of warm heat, the product does sink in more. It does go <laughs> I don't always do that. I like to process it in room temperature, open air. But I do find that when you put it under like a little bit of heat, it does help the color permeate deeper. So here we go. We have this one money piece section here. I am putting the lighter bits up higher because we want the face to pop like popcorn. And it's okay to overlap, overlay just like that because they're just gonna merge together. The more you overlap, the more they're gonna blend. So we're gonna process for 20 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, you can see through here, we have the first formula with Night Warrior Green Aurora on the Routage. And then through the mid shop, there is Green Aurora. And then on the ends here, I have the Lightning Bolt formula added into that Green Aurora. As I get towards her face, you can see I put in more of the third formula with the Lightning Bolt. So we get that brighter face framing piece that pop. Are we ready for the reveal of Joey's hair? Five, four, three, two, one, wee! <laughs> Look at that green Aurora, the activist shade. It's gorgeous, it's magnificent. So look at her scalpage. You can see where that Night Warrior comes in and it creates that shadow to blend the highlight in with her natural hair color. Her hair has so much volume, so much movement. When she turns around, you can see how the color cascades from the top down to the bottom. It has that ombre, balayage type of look. So when this color wears out and I don't see her for like another year or two, <laughs> it's gonna grow out gracefully. And she got that money piece where we did the four back-to-back -back foils around her face frame. It pops like popcorn, honey. It looks good. <laughs> Thumbs up, subscribe. Y'all better subscribe, okay? Hit that bell so you get the notification. Leave comments below and then download my music. The links are all below. You can get my new album, my new music, and all of the products are available at Cosmoprof as well as Armstrong McCall stores. And you can also go to mydaddycolor.com to purchase any of the colors that we talk about today. All right, love you much. Bye. No. There's not one day that goes by that I don't think of you. Some love, my phantom love